how to connect your RSS feed to Pinterest. Hey Pinners, it's Michelle Held from Pintalk.net. I'm going to show you how to connect your website's RSS feed to Pinterest and so you can automatically save new posts to your website as pins on Pinterest. Uh, hopefully you are watching this video on my website or on YouTube. So subscribe to the YouTube channel or like the video and also subscribe to my email list. That way you'll get a weekly email using my site's RSS feed and it has all the latest blog posts and videos. So this is uh, a feature I just logged into Pinterest this morning on desktop Pinterest, that's important, and I saw a notification that I could connect or claim, connect my RSS feed. So this is a screenshot of what I saw. Uh, I played with it then and actually gone ahead and connected my RSS feed, so I don't have this anymore, but there was this big blue bar when I came to the news feed and it said connect your RSS feed to make pins. Now if you don't know what RSS means it's really simple syndication and what it is is it's an XML file containing all the posts or pages of your website. This all WordPress sites have this automatically so there that's an actually an RSS feed right there. So a lot of uh, online tools, automations, can grab this file, which lives on your web, your hosting company's servers, and then use it, parse it up, and then use it. So for example, if you sign up for my email list, uh, on Saturday morning you get an email that contains all the blog posts from the site, which have the, they have the videos embedded in them. That is the that's set up as an automation. It's an RSS feed. It goes out automatically, detects that there's a new post, sends it out. So now Pinterest is able to do that too. In the past, I've used some third-party tools to accomplish this, and of course, I go in and pin stuff by hand, so I can adjust um, what the settings are for the sake of search engine optimization. But this will be really convenient. It'll save me time, and I do have other writers on my other website. So when they post stuff too, uh, it'll go up and then it's automatically going to save. So this is what that area looks like. Now, like I said before, I came in and saw this blue bar and I clicked on try it and that brought me over to this section on my site. If you have a business account and you don't get that blue bar, then what you can do is come into your website, you log in, or excuse me, into Pinterest, log in, and then hit the three dots. We've been spending a lot of time in the uh, recent videos adjusting settings, especially for business accounts. So this is the same area that we've been going to. Three dots, go to settings, and then come over here to claim. And that gets me to this page. And you see on this page in my account that I've already set the RSS feed for pintalk.net. But we're going to do is go over to a different Pinterest that I have and we're going to connect that one together and go through it together. Uh, an important note here, you have to do this on desktop Pinterest. It's not available on the mobile app. Uh, a bit of a shame because we know that the overwhelming majority of Pinterest users uh, use the mobile app. It's like 80-85% are using mobile app. But for business accounts, there are many, many features that you can only access or configure using desktop Pinterest. So as a business owner, website owner, you need to, need to get familiar with Pinterest for desktop, for web browsers. So let's do this. All right. So Pintalk.net is already claimed. And this is, again, same area. Remember, we had a video about connecting Instagram, connecting YouTube. We talked about Etsy. There are blog posts that go with that. Those videos live here on YouTube. So here's how to connect, or that's sorry, that's a video pin. Here's interest, Instagram. Here's how to connect YouTube. But same same part of that. The video pin thing has been, been pretty popular. We're going to do more videos about that. So same area. We're going to get to this page. So let's go over to a different Pinterest account. So this is my other website, AskCybersecurity.com. Also a WordPress site. And what I'm, so I also don't have a blue bar here. I've gone in and played with this one too, but it's not connected currently to its feed, RSS feed. So we are going to, what I did is I, I logged in and went to profile. Then I hit the three dots and choose settings. And then I end up in this area, claim. So I'm going to claim my account. See, nothing is connected. I don't even have the YouTube and Instagram connected here. So all, 
all I have to do is grab the URL for my RSS feed. So if you have a WordPress site, it's just the root domain forward slash feeds forward slash come to my claim page where I connect my other accounts to paste that in and I need to select a board. So I'm going to choose cybersecurity news and then save it. That's all there is to it. Uh, note here, you have to have a business account and you have to have a website claimed meaning uh, that was a configuration. It's a condition of having a business account. You need to be claiming a top level domain name. So I choose my board and same thing. If you are going to save your RSS feed pins to a secret board, then no one is going to see them. And maybe you want to do that so you can adjust them or adjust the description before you save them as pins to publicly available boards. So that's a possibility. But I saved mine right to a public board and that's all there is to it. Uh, I'll come back another time and check on Instagram and YouTube and get this one up to date. It takes about, according to Pinterest, takes about 24 hours for the first pin from your RSS feed to post to your account. So I'm going to check back on that and maybe there'll be a part two to this video or an extension on this video. I'll redo it. And then it says future posts to your site will be posted on a quote regular schedule. We don't know what that regular schedule is. <laughs> it should be once every 24 hours, hopefully. Uh, maybe more often if you have a very active website, but they didn't commit, Pinterest did not commit to a regular regular RSS feed posting schedule. So that's all there is to it. I take your RSS feed from your website, come over to this claim area, and then add, add your URL. It's possible that your website has more than one RSS feed. If your website is divided into sections, say for uh, part recipes, another part is fashion, and you have a configuration where you have multiple feeds, that's okay too. Lots of websites I use have that. I only have one, and you can get you can get a, um, feeds added for for all the sections, and then choose individual boards to save them to that match up. So I hope you found this helpful. Please subscribe to my email list and you'll get an email, weekly email, I don't sell your name, with a blog post or the RSS feed of my blog post. And then subscribe to the YouTube channel where you're probably watching this video and you can see all the past videos. And I hope you found this helpful. Check me out for Pinterest tips, tricks, and tutorials. Carry on, pinners.